him as the king of glory, where they begin to take off their garments and they laid them down on the ground. And Jesus began to come into Jerusalem. He came into the place where they begin to see him for who he was. I encourage you, begin to see yourself as God sees you. Begin to look at yourself as God is saying, I have need of you. There's something on the inside of you that God has and he wants it. So take the way of excellence, amen. God has given us this time. He's given us this time for us to sit still, be calm, and think. God is saying in this season, don't wait for the afterthought. They had an afterthought after Jesus died. It was those who was walking on the road of, I think it was uh, 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 Emus, right? They were walking and they said, surely our hearts burn. Because they were thinking about the things that Jesus had done. Surely our hearts burn when we think about the, uh, the Jesus that came, that died on the cross. That, that, that Surely our hearts burn. But that was an afterthought. They were there in the midst of it while it was happening and they didn't do anything. You are here in the midst of a situation now. God has prophets in the earth. God has apostles in the earth. He has, has those in the earth that are here to help you to be prepared for the day of the Lord, which we are in now. Get yourself ready to walk as a son and a daughter of God. Don't wait. Don't wait. This is the time now. God is saying, don't wait. Don't let this time pass where you'll look back and say, I should have. Don't let this time pass where... You knew that Jesus was the Christ and you believed it, but you just didn't make a step towards him. Don't let this time pass where you have hate in your heart and unforgiveness and you don't yield it over and say, Lord, here I am. I have, I have forgiven all. I have given up all. And now I am ready to walk with you. I'm ready to do the wonderful things that you have planted on the inside of me. Sometimes we think that it's only the call. And um, right now at Faith Temple, we're talking about the uh, mobilization of the sons of God. That there are the some that were called, right? There's the apostle, prophet, the pastor, the teacher, the evangelist. But that's only five. All of us are not a part of that five. All of us are not uh, uh, called ministers. But all of us have something to do in the earth. All of us are to be immobilized by the five. There should be a teacher that is pouring into your heart. That's causing the word of God to become exciting on the inside of you. There should be an apostle that is building in your life. Somebody that is within your reach that will tell you what the plan is that God has for the now. They ought to be a prophet that is in your space. A prophet plants in our heart to hear the voice of God. There ought to be somebody that is around you, that hears the voice of God, that plants within you, because you want to know what God is saying in this season. There ought to be an evangelist that is in your realm where you start to get excited about the souls that are hurting, that are in the land right now. See, because COVID is not the only sickness. There is sin sickness that is out there. And evangelizing Telling people about the goodness of the Lord never gets tired. But we ought to be around people that encourage us, amen. We ought to be around someone that um, has the voice of God. Someone that can pour into you in this season. I encourage you on today that if you don't have anybody, that my phone line is open. If you don't have anybody to pray with, if you don't have anybody to encourage you, somebody that can mentor you through this, I can help to link you up with someone to make sure that you complete your assignment in the earth. All of us have something that we need to do. And all of our assignments line up with God's will. So I encourage you today, don't just go through um, this Holy Week in a religious way. 